Hey everyone, it's Sarah Oleg Spiker here. And for quite some time now, I have been quiet when it comes to live streams here on Facebook. And um, to be honest, I've been going through a lot of internal shifts and growth and evolution and process of releasing. <laughs> and it is just so fitting, I came down here this morning because we're redoing the family room and I'm so excited to see this whole creative process of how it's going to come all together. But it was just such a fitting environment for this particular live stream because on the outside, right, it might seem like construction zone, furniture is taken out, not much is happening, the walls are being stripped of the paint, old paint, uh, the holes are being patched the new furniture is being built to be put in there. So it pretty much seems like an empty room without much action going on. However, on the back end, it is getting a whole new transformation. I've been feeling the same way myself and I wanted to share this with you because in the world of social media in particular, in today's world of 24 seven news cycles, in the current environment when for so many of us the only connection to the outside world is through the lens of a camera and a screen whether it's alive like right now or zoom conferences or whatever it is it seems to be the only window to the outside world and we feel the need to broadcast everything we feel the need to show up consistently and sometimes forcefully say something just to say it and I want to encourage you and invite you and offer and suggest, what if it's perfectly okay? What if you give yourself a permission to take a downturn, downtime actually, to hibernate? I mean, it's late fall. The whole nature is getting ready for hibernation. Why are we humans in such a rush not to? And it doesn't mean that just because we're not doing something externally, just because we're not hustling and grinding and running 300 miles an hour in 15 different directions all day, every day. You know what? Some of my most creative and powerful work happens in complete stillness, in complete silence and behind the scenes, not on the social media, not broadcasting every single move. So, um, like I said, I just felt inspired as I walked into this room this morning. I was like, hmm, there's a content in here that is calling to be shared. Um, I will simply surrender and I will trust that the right moment will arise. And right now it's the right moment. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon or three o'clock. <laughs> don't even know what time it is. How bad is that? I just know it's Friday the 13th, which means double the fun, double the luck. Um, so yeah, in the middle of the construction project, um, I'm just coming to you to invite you to allow yourself time and space to unwind, time and space to go within, and time and space to just be still and allow things to come together. A friend of mine and I started this conversation several months ago, actually. We planted a seed, an idea that actually finally landed and started to really sprout just the other day. It needed all the time to just be there, percolate in order to, um, to be ready to start sprouting. And now we have clarity, we know exactly what we're doing with it, where we're taking it, what action will be required from our standpoint, and exactly how we're moving forward and what impact that will have. But we needed to trust that the several months in between of us um, having this insight to being able to take action, feeling called to take action, several months went by. And sometimes that's exactly what it takes. It, sometimes it simply takes time and silence and stillness. So from my heart to yours, from our uh, 
family room that's being completely redone. I will gladly share with you an update when it's ready. But until then, I'm sending you much love, a lot of light, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.